Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today I'll be sharing with you what does it mean to deploy a machine learning model. So let's get started. First off, what is model deployment? In practice, deploying a machine learning model or the process known as model deployment simply means to integrate a machine learning model into an existing production environment, where it can take in an input and return an output. The purpose of deploying your model is to make the predictions from a trained ML model available to other systems existing in the network. Further, model deployment is closely related to ML systems architecture. So if you already know it, it'll be easier for you to understand deployment. If not, no worries, I'll be walking you through the process in a few moments. But hey, hang on a second. Before you deploy a model, there's this criteria that the machine learning model needs to achieve before it's ready for deployment. Number one, portability. This refers to the ability of the software to be transferred from one machine or system to another. A portable model is one with relatively low response time and one that can be rewritten with minimal effort. Number two, scalability. This refers to how large your model can scale. A scalable model is the one that doesn't need to be redesigned to maintain its performance. Next, let's discuss the high level architecture of an ML system. At high level, there are four main parts of a machine learning system or ML system. Number one, data layer. The data layer provides access to all the data sources that the model requires. Number two, feature layer. This is responsible for generating feature data in a transparent, scalable and usable manner. Number three, scoring layer, which is responsible to transform features into predictions. Scikit-learn is most commonly used here and is industry standard for scoring. Number four, evaluation layer. The evaluation layers check the equivalence of two models and can be used to monitor production models, which means it is used to monitor and compare how closely the training predictions match the predictions on live traffic. Next, what are different methods to deploy your model? Well, there are three general ways to deploy your ML models. Number one, one-off. Actually, it's not always that you need to continuously train a machine learning model in order for it to be deployed. Sometimes a model is only needed once or on a periodic basis. In this case, the model can simply be trained ad hoc when it's needed and pushed to production until it degrades enough to need some fixing. Number two, batch. Batch training allows you to constantly have an update version of the model. It is scalable method that takes subsample of data at a time, eliminating the need to use the full data set for each update. This is good if you use a model on a consistent basis, but don't necessarily require the predictions in real time. Number three, real time. In some cases, you want predictions in real time. For example, to determine if a transaction is fraudulent or not. This is possible by using online machine learning models like linear regression using stochastic gradient descent. Moving on further, here are a few factors to consider when determining your method of deployment. Number one, how frequently predictions will be generated and how urgent the results are needed. Number two, whether the predictions should be generated individually or by batches. Number three, the latency requirement of the model, the computing power capabilities that one has, and the desired SLA. Number four, the operational implications and the cost required to deploy and maintain the model. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and delivered value. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future updates.